Level 5 work based on the National Curriculum Level Descriptors at Level 5. And we'll start off by looking at number. The first topic is to round off measurements. Now suppose we've done a calculation on the calculator and this is the answer in the window of the calculator. We need to make it a sensible answer. As it's a money problem and we were working in pounds, the answer must be 45 pounds and a fraction of a pound. 45 pounds and a fraction of a pound. It's actually 54 pennies. But, because this figure here is 5 or more, we round it up to 55 pennies. So this gives us the answer to the nearest penny. Another calculation was made on a calculator and this was the answer in the window. It was a calculation about metres with distance. So the answer must be 6 metres and a fraction of a metre. When we have this in metres it's actually saying 6 metres and 96 centimetres. 6 metres, 96 centimetres. So to the nearest centimetre, appreciating that this is a 5 or more, the answer is 6 metres and 97 centimetres, or 6.97 metres. Let's look at another calculator answer on distance. Let's suppose we were working in centimetres. So this is the calculator answer, and it's saying 23 and a fraction of a centimetre. When we're working in centimetres, this is actually how many millimetres? So it's 23 and 5 millimetres, because we need to round it up. So the answer here, 23 centimetres and a fraction of a centimetre. 23 centimetres, 4 millimetres, but round it up to 5 millimetres. 23.5 centimetres is the answer to the nearest millimetre. When we use a calculator, we often round the answer to a certain number of significant figures, SF for short. So we need to estimate answers by rounding numbers in a question to a certain number of significant figures. Correct these to one significant figure. Correct each of these answers to one significant figure. Now one significant figure means just take the very first figure that you come to in the answer. That is the first significant figure. If the next figure is five or more, we round it up. But the answer must be the same size as the question. This is four units. This is actually 5,665. So our answer has to be approximately the same as this. So to one significant figure the answer there is 5. To one significant figure here is 6,000. The answer here to one significant figure is 0 0.005. One significant figure means take the first figure you come to, round it up if the next figure is five or more, round it up if the next figure is five or more, don't round it up if the next figure is not, but your answer must be the same area as the number you're rounding. Let's look at these. Correct these to two significant figures. So you just take the first two figures you come to. And then look at the next figure to see if it's five or more. So this becomes 46. This becomes 79. But this says 7,000. So this has still got to say 7,000.
Now I left this one because our first significant figure is the 7. We didn't use these noughts, but once we have started, then we do include any noughts. So there's our first two significant figures. So to two significant figures, this answer is because there's no rounding up. Recognise the value of a digit in a decimal number. What is the value of the yellow digit? So we have a decimal number as an answer. And we have to say what is the value of the yellow digit. Now we need to appreciate our columns are hundreds, tens and units. Then the decimal place. Then the tenths column and the hundredths column and the thousandths column. So this eight is actually in the tenths column. So this 8, the value of the 8 is 8 tenths. 8 tenths. Now this 8 is actually in the tens column. So this 8 has a value of 80. This 4, that's the tenths, this is the hundredths column. So that four has a value of four hundredths because it's in the hundredths column. Whereas this four is in the hundredths column. So it has a value of four hundred. Lastly, tenths, hundredths, this nine is in the thousandths column. So it has a value of nine thousandths. Ordering decimals. Put these in order, smallest first. So we've got 56.4, 56.46, 56, 56, 56. This is 56.4, 0.46, 0.04. This is the smallest one. What comes next? 56.3. So is this 56.3? This one's 56.33, whereas this one's 56.34. This one's the smaller. Now both of these say 56.4. But this one says 56.4. Whereas this one says 56.46. This is larger than this. So putting the smallest one first. Now let's put these in order. The largest first. 0 0.7. 0 0.7. 0 0.7. I've got three that say 0 0.7. Which of those is the largest? This one's the largest. Followed by this one. Followed by that one. So that's all the ones that say 0.7. Now these two say 0.07. This one's the largest. And then lastly... Putting decimals in order, either largest first or smallest first. <laughs> 